Hey everyone, welcome back to Luigi's Play. Today we are checking out the latest update for the Mandarin 3DS emulator version 1.1. So for those who don't know, Mandarin used to be called Citra Enhanced, but it's now got a new name. So um, I'll go over what is new in this update and show you how to install it. Whether you are a long time user or a new Mandarin, I've got you covered. So um, let's jump into what is new in this version. Now before I continue, I just want to remind everyone that if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Your support means a lot to me and help me to continue creating content like this. So please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's get back to today's topic. Today we are checking out Madarin 3DS which you might know as Citrine Enhanced. This emulator got some cool updates and it is now even better for playing Nintendo 3DS games on your PC or Android. Um, so what is new with Madarin 3DS? It is about better performance and stability. And it also takes everything Citra Enhanced did, making your gaming smooth and more fun. To get started, just download it from GitHub page. You can use the window installer or let's obtain your handle update for you. Just make sure your system meets the minimum requirements before installing. And also, setting up Madari 3DS is super easy. All you have to do is open the emulator tweak the graphics settings for your setup and adjust the controls however you want. It even works with various controllers including the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. So in short, Mandarin 3DS build on Citra Enhance and make it even better with improved performance, more stability and great cross-platform support. And also, it's, it's, it's perfect for playing your favorite 3DS games on your computer or Android. Now let's jump right into the change logs of today's update. Okay, so on PC, they've changed how pausing the emulator is handled to allow frame. Um, what this means is that this update changes the internal mechanics of how pausing works within the emulator. Pausing might have been a simple. Now, it allows the emulator to pause at specific frames, making the process more precise and less prone to errors. On Android, implemented custom layout customization GUI. And what this means is that a new graphical user interface known as the GUI has been added to the Android version and allowing users to customize their emulator's layout. This means users can now drag, drop, resize, and arrange their controls button or screens as they like. Update to Clan 18. And what this means is that Clan is a compiler used to build the emulator code. So updating to Clan 18 means the development team is now using the latest version, which likely includes performance improvements, new features, and better compatibility. So um, on PC, flat pack shortcut creation fixes. What simply means is that this update fixes issues related to creating shortcuts when the emulator is installed via Flatpak, a popular software distribution format for Linux. Moving on, update submodels. What this means is that submodels are external components or library used within the project. So this update refreshes these components to their latest version. So um, on Android, some UI rebrand. What this means is that certain elements of the user interface on the Android version has been rebranded or refreshed. So um, these are the change logs, and you can post the video to look inside this change log. So now let me walk you through the installation process. I mean, I'm going to do a clean installation. So if you are new to this channel and you don't know how to install um, 3DS, any 3DS emulator on your mobile phone, um. These steps will guide you on how to install it both on Android and PC. So let's dive in into the installation process. Okay, so we are back here and we are coming to install the Mandarin emulator. So 
as you can see i have here with me the android version of the emulator so what i'm going to do is i'm going to guide you on i'm going to guide you guys on how to install this emulator just press on your apk and install it okay so after you are done with the installation open it now at the welcome page just press on get started uh, you can grant for notification so to do that just press on grant notification and then select allow press next this one it's of no use so just press next camera just press next okay here it says select user folder so what you are going to do is um you can create any folder and name it any how you like it and you use that folder for your 3ds emulation so um just press on select and then as you can see me i created a 3ds folder so um I, I'll be using this folder called 3ds for all my 3ds emulation so and then select use this folder okay um inside the 3ds folder or inside your folder you can just create another folder for this emulator so I'll create a new folder and name it mandarin okay so and then select on use this folder allow okay now here it says games what we are going to do is we are going to locate the folder that contains our 3ds rom files or ROM, rom games and to do that just press on add games button over here and then locate the folder that contains your 3ds game files or all your 3ds rom files in this case my games are located inside this folder called roms then click on use this folder allow okay so um, we are done setting up the emulator it's so easy so um we are done with the installation and setting up the emulator so um